Well, this is big news for Mexico. This country may have been the first country in Latin America to begin a national vaccination program, but it quickly lagged behind others. One example of that is that this country is still in the stage of vaccinating the over 60s. And a big reason for that is when it comes to vaccine deals, a lot of logistics and shipments of those finished vaccines arriving in Mexico have been delayed. Sputnik, indeed, is a very good example of that. Mexico, since January, has had a deal with Moscow to buy 24 million doses of the Sputnik V vaccine. Yet so far, nearly at the end of April, Mexico has received here in the country just over 1 million doses of the Sputnik V, far behind schedule. So that's why we see Mexico's foreign ministry currently in Moscow asking and dealing with the Russian government to say, send us the basic component parts. We will assemble them here and then roll them out from our production facilities, thereby bypassing all the logistical problems of getting finished vaccines into the country. Indeed, the Sputnik V vaccine won't be the only vaccine to be finished and bottled in Mexico. Mexico is also finishing and bottling the CanSino jab and has been doing so since January. And despite a few initial teething problems, Mexico last month in March delivered its first batch of nearly one million CanSino vaccines, which will be going directly to the country's teachers. They are next in line after the over 60s as this country tries to get its kids back to school. So Mexico does have the medical infrastructure to finish and bottle vaccines. So don't be surprised in the coming months if we see Mexico's foreign ministry making more diplomatic missions to countries where they have deals for vaccines established, saying, give us the component parts, let us finish them and bottle them in Mexico and then distribute them from here to get them out faster to the country which currently so badly needs them. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Mexico City.